One year ago today, legendary congressman and civil rights activist John Lewis passed away. There were a number of rallies and ceremonies across the Bay Area and the rest of the country to honor his legacy. NBC Bay Area Sergio Quintana was in Corte Madera tonight at one of those events. This, this vigil is to honor John Lewis's life of service, sacrifice, and inspiration. It's really hard to believe that he, John Lewis is not with us anymore. He was the inspiration for so many people. He's a titan of voting rights and civil rights. It's one of more than 100 across the country organized to pressure Congress to pass the John Lewis Voting Rights Act. But organizers of this event aren't just rallying, they're also making phone calls, trying to convince people to support the legislation. We've been contacting voters in the states of some of the recalcitrant senators who are, who are loath to uh, reform the filibuster, and frankly, our own senator, Senator Feinstein, is in that group. We need to fight with every bone in our From body. Corte Madera so I say to, you. to this event in Washington, D.C., the rallying cry went out in city after city. Commander Fleet Cyber Command and in San Diego, an honor of a different kind for the Georgia congressman. And all who sail in her. The christening of the United States Navy ship named in his honor. <laughs> One of the mottos of the Navy is Semper Fortis, always courageous. And John Lewis was indeed always courageous. The USNS John Lewis is the lead vessel of its class of fuel supply ships for the Navy. In the years since his passing, Congressman Lewis's legacy of voting rights activism continues to inspire not just because of his mission, but also because of his methods. He was a joyful person, and, uh, and I think that's one thing that, that needs to continue here. As, as we fight a fight that really needs to be fought, I think we have to approach it with joy and, and enthusiasm. There are currently two bills circulating through Congress focused on voting rights. The first is the John Lewis Voting Rights Act. The second is the For the People Act. Both of them are currently stalled because of Senate Republicans' efforts to block them. In Corte Madera, Sergio Quintana, NBC, Bay Area News.